Hi, I'm Tony Fowle. Uh, this is uh, just one video in a series of tutorial videos showing uh, how to use my uh, motorcycle setup software, uh, which you can see more details of on my website at uh, www.tonyfowle.com. With the improvement in power output and tyres of today's bikes, the subject of anti-squat is far more important than it ever used to be. Here we have a calculator uh, to plot the anti-squat over the full range of wheel movement for any particular setup. On the left we have our normal data entry boxes. In the beginning, when we first open this screen, the data is brought across from what we previously entered in the rear suspension and front fork screens. Uh, so normally we would go in and we define the bike in the front fork and rear suspension screens and then come into this screen to investigate uh, small changes uh, to the anti-squat. Okay, um, normal data, swing arm length, swing arm pivot height etc. Uh, this uh, tick box here will let us investigate the anti-squat of the traditional shaft drive motorcycles not the four bar linkage type like the newer BMW Paralever but any of the older conventional type where the chrome wheel housing was fixed to the swing arm okay if it's in a chain drive situation uh, then we can enter in the number of teeth here we can enter in the chain pitch uh, that's entered in in inches simply because uh, chain manufacturers still specify motorcycle chains with inch pitches and we have a choice of the three most popular ones here half inch five eighths and three quarters um, we've got coordinates for the sprocket center uh, the weight measured on the front wheel is the weight of the rear wheel and here uh, the we've got values for the front and rear wheel moments of inertia now these aren't terribly important to enter all that accurately because they only have they just have a slight refining effect on the results of the calculations if you haven't got the values then the best thing to do is enter in a value of minus one and that tells the software to use default values which are based on the weights of the wheel that we've entered uh, use, using that the difference in the results will be very very small compared to actually entering in the genuine values um, center of gravity height and then other fairly obvious details the these values here XVP and YVP are the X and Y coordinates of the virtual pivot which is formed by the chain line and the swinging arm uh, if you don't understand the term virtual pivot uh, refer to the booklet on suspension kinematics that came with the software. Here as we move around the screen uh, this indicates the coordinates of where the pointer is at least to within the resolution of the screen that you're using. Here we can exercise the suspension between full rebound and full bump or in a gradual fashion if we prefer. This is quite useful for seeing how close the chain run is going to come to the swinging arm pivot etc in reality. Okay so when we've got all our data in it's just simply a matter of uh, pressing the plot button and it draws two graphs for us. The difference between these graphs is simply a difference in the situation of the front fork. The red graph shows when the front fork is fully extended and the blue curve shows when it's fully compressed. Now when we're concerned about squat is normally when we're accelerating and in which case the front's going to be extended to a certain degree whether it's topped out or not we're not sure. So basically what we can say is that these two graphs define the maximum minimum range within which we'll find the anti-squat value for any particular value of wheel displacement throughout the range. Now the default um, y-axis uh, for this screen is, is in percentage. This is a percentage of anti-squat. That value uh, depends on having an accurate value for the center of gravity height. In many cases um, we sometimes see anti-squat values expressed as an angle and we can tick on uh, this uh, 
uh, button here and then exactly the same data is replotted but instead of showing it as a percentage it's showing it as the anti-squat angle uh, but don't forget the anti-squat angle is only telling us half the story because the anti-squat properties of the motorcycle will depend on the center of gravity height as well which is what we get from the screen well that's it for now uh, to make sure that you don't miss any uh, more of these tutorial videos on the motorcycle setup software I suggest that you tick the like button on this one and subscribe to my YouTube channel Motor Chassis uh, for more information about the suspension setup software and uh, my book on chassis design I suggest you visit my website at uh, www.tonyfoll.com Thanks for watching.